come of October 2011. No grab flight will be taking place in Abuja. And subsequently, all aircraft will start flying from different zones. We intend to use 12 airports. Neighbors inclusive, Iloni, Abuja, Kassina, Yobi, I mean, Maduguri, all. But uh, from our part at the Medway Airline, we are involved in uh, early from four airports. We we'll commence our operation simultaneously on the second in Lagos and in Illinois. This year, inshallah, we intend to use two aircraft, one being 747, 300 ER, with capacity of 517, and one being 767 ER, with capacity of 300. These two aircraft are basically available. 747 arrived a couple of days ago and is positioned at the International Airport in preparation for this operation. Okay, in all, sir, how many states are you likely going to yeah, lead? Because we know you might get from Southwest and, of course, from North Central. Yeah, that's our permit if we have to, to, to date. I mean, consistent, and we're lucky we have 18 states. Includes, including the armed forces. What I mean by this state, we have the south west, we have the south south, we have the south east, we have the north east, which is Yobe, and we are equally in the line, which is the central point. So that make makes you very unique, covering all geopolitical zones, almost all. As we are carrying from south 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 east. We are coming from southwest, we are coming from north central and north east. Now, do we know what kind of um, value added service you intend to give to Nigerian pilgrims? Because you have been in this business for quite a while. Uh, year in year, out, we develop a lot of new innovations. As you are aware, as you are aware, as you are aware, we definitely provide for our pilgrims a lot of incentives, particularly in the area of information dissemination and in the area of feeding and in-flight services. We ensure that those that travel with Medu in the past, we keep to time. We make time with relevant factors for you to know when you are going and for you to know when you are coming. So it gives an ample opportunity for people to prepare their minds for the journey of their life. Okay. Now, what kind of uh, mutual relationship do you have with uh, other airlines operators? Because obviously we know that other airlines that have actually been licensed by the National Air Commission you know, to ferry um, Muslim pilgrims to Saudi Arabia. Uh, basically, the past year, since the entry of Medway Airlines to this business, we have tried all our best with the experience we have encountered or we had in the past to bring all Nigerian career together to form a forum. And I am talking to you as the vice chairman of the Air Career Forum. And uh, I'm equally the chief whip. And that makes it very easy for us to work together. Not like what happened in the past, where individual career go on their own. We introduce a noble idea of coming under one call sign and today we are expanding now with the introduction of two call signs into the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, expanding our ten circles. What it takes is that in the first innovation we don't pay reality, we don't pay bank guarantee. We make sure that Saudi Arabia understands that Nigerians are a unified country and there are people of one mind. So we go in that direction. So I make it very beautiful. And that's but I made a lot of improvement on the hash. It has value of individual career interest. We buried that one at one corner. We focus on the exercise. You are showing the young pilgrims now that uh, what we have had in the past, that some people will be abandoned towards the end, and we are going to have last minute rush to ferry uh, pilgrims into Saudi Arabia. This will not happen this year, sir. Uh, I think I did want to say with emphasis for the past five years that we have been in this business, that never happened. And we pray, inshallah, 
continuity and blessing of Allah, it will never, never happen. It is an issue that has been forgotten. And that's why you are seeing the new trend every year. Okay. Would you now imagine that an aircraft is positioned 10 days awaiting pilgrims. In the past, it used to be a pilgrim waiting for aircraft. Now we park an aircraft in the airport. We currently charge the screw in the hotel. It's a question of waiting for pilgrims to come out on Sunday. What we are saying is that you are always doing a rescue mission at last minute. States uh, call on you that uh, men view when crisis come and bail us out. That's why you know, we find that do we need this, uh, uh, what do you call it, this kind of approach? We definitely want to see the unity of purpose in business. That people, whatever situation we find ourselves, these are Nigerians. Okay. We form all alliance to do the best for Nigerians. So I think it has always been something of encouragement. Okay. That today, Nigerians have never asked Saudi Arabia government for an extension since the entry of Mervyn into this. Over the years, they used to call the government of Saudi Arabia to give extension for me. So that's never happened. For now, I think that's about a lot of changes. So I have a line. I need to get uh, more thoughts about uh, this vice chairmanship of yours, the Air Carrier Forum of what? Of the uh, Yali. Pregame Yali. Uh, those of us that are involved in this business. For the past four or five years, there have been consistency with Cabo, with Medview, with Maxia, with Meridian. And for international, they gave it to Treka. So this Yala has come and aligned. And we made the MD of Cabo to be the chairman. And myself as the MD of uh, Medellin and the five chairman. So we have a forum where we discuss issues. And we go outside Nigeria to discuss with the Saudi government as well. Uh, blessing of the Nigerian civil official authority. I think that I make a lot of changes. But well, Alhamdulillah, is there anything that the tribunal is doing for you to make this this year and more successful than ever before? And moreover, can you tell us an idea of maybe rough rough estimate of 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 uh, how many of Nigerian prisons are you intending to at least to start already after the, for this year's exercise? Uh, uh, the quota for Nigeria are uh, usually been ninety five thousand, but this year. The Saudi Authority are there 4,000. So it means the entire Nigeria that will be involved in this year has will be 99,000. So that's the highest in this week. This is for now as an improvement and showing that there are a lot of development taking place. So on the part of Medview, how many? Medview is taking 15,500. 15,500. And so we know Hajj is, is, is a major pillar of Islam, a lot of high pillars of Islam. And uh, many Muslims would have loved to go for Hajj, but the nature of the exercise when it comes to the monetary terms, is there any way Medvi can also assist in this line that uh, as much as many Muslims who are wishing to perform this Hajj exercise, maybe like a kilometer payment, we hear from airlines saying, okay, let us give you like three months notice for you to start paying, and at the end of the day, you pay a long term of money. From there or thereabouts. Are you also looking into that direction from this moment from this uh, uh, holy prisoners? Yeah, one of the arms of Medvil Company, which is the Medvil Travel and Concert, that is involved in the international pilgrimage and number exercise, actually involved in this type of concentrations. So that Nigerians who want to go for pilgrimage have the window to make an instrumental payment. And that has only been our way to ease and bring less stress to people. So that's exactly what has been one of the purpose of our, you know, focus. As you say, to offer quality service and stress the pilgrimage. It makes people to go for pilgrimage without stress. And that is what we are being advertising. So we thank God for its mercy. There are shortcomings somewhere, but we still make and to make an improvement. Yes. Because the number we have now, one of the aircraft we carry five hundred and seventeen and the other one we carry two hundred. And averagely we'll be carrying about eight hundred per day. So for us to work for this fifteen thousand, we just need approximately just give yourself twenty days. Which is even more than that. So when you give 20 days, you take it to 10,000. So less than three, we will be out of the game. But, uh, there was a time we wasn't heard this news that uh, the Saudi authorities uh, gave an issue to that uh, 
any Nigerian Muslim who has performed Hajj within the five year period shouldn't come for Hajj because of the nature of the distressing nature of the Hajj exercise. Likewise, the stand feet yearly at the turning of the devil and the like. So, and at the point, we're also hearing that the, the, the directive has been lifted. Can we, can we hear from somebody who is an authority like you? Yeah, that information was not directed to Nigeria. I think that was a misinformation because I remember we had the same woman, but it was not applicable to Nigeria. So that was the information. That's why it has no effect today. There was no effect on it. So definitely, going for obligatory, it has been ordained by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is the last of the old five pillars and it's for you for fulfillment of all the right of your Islamic obligation. So, and if you are well to do and afford to do it, so it's specified once in lifetime. And once you are blessed, you want to thank Allah for everything He has done in your life. So be it. Okay. Now uh, let's look at uh, the tax. What kind of assistance do the National Commission give to private airlines who are actually doing this business? Seeing that since that Nigeria does not have a national carrier, I think we want to say with emphasis that the National Arts Commission and the Nigerian indigenous carrier who have been involved in this exercise have been working in partnership because knowing fully well the role of the carrier in this business. When you do every other thing without the air carrier, there's actually no hatch. So they have been very, very, very important to us. They have been encouraging us in many ways. And this has been an opportunity to tell you that with this relationship, it has improved the airlift of freedom in this country today. So we can say comfortably now that Nigerian programs will go to hard on schedule that come back on schedule. So that's correct because for the contracts of agreement, there are a lot of sanctions on both sides. Good. So that's what has made this exercise very interesting because it's a three-way thing. State Pilgrim Board, the National Health Commission, it's a tripartite agreement indirectly, and the carrier. So the carrier has the obligations and equally the states and the National Commission, which is the regulatory authority, to ensure that things go right. Well, we have to wish uh, all our brothers uh, a stress-free hard operations this year, and hopefully that uh, Allah will accept this as act of Ibadah for all of us. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your call. Thank you. Like the middle name, you can put Allah D. Adebo Wali, another name, a bank colleague, has the 